Hello everyone. In today's video, I will discuss a cool new AI tool, Adiogram AI. This tool can do something that Mid Journey or other AI image generation tools struggle with, that is adding text to AI images. In this video, I will walk you through how to sign up and start using it. Plus, I have got some awesome tips to help you get the best results. I will even share my chat GPT prompt for Adiogram. So stick till the end. Let's get started. To sign up, just go to Google, search Ideogram AI and you'll find the first link over here. You can click on this. Once clicked, you will land to this page that is login page. Over here, you will find a sign up with Google. You can go ahead and click on this and use your Google account and sign up. So let's not waste any time and create our first images. So you'll see that I'm giving a prompt that is dream big, study sky. And then we have, a, you know, a aspect ratio over here. So I'm going with 10 is to 16 and over here you have different kind of styles. So you have to select typography and then you can select anything. So let's go ahead and select poster and uh, maybe, you know, illustration. Okay. So just go ahead and click on generate. So let's have a look here. Uh, we have our images ready. Uh, so you could see here, uh, this is really good. Uh, whatever we wanted, we were able to achieve and uh, whatever we generate will be available as a part of our profile section, which I'll show you later. So there are multiple ways to write the prompt, uh, which I will discuss later. So let's try another prompt. Uh, this time you could see that I'm writing text colon and never give up sunrise horizon, then typography, poster, illustration. And I could go ahead and select some other uh, as well. So let's go ahead and select vibrant instead of illustration. And maybe you can go ahead and select something else if you would like, you know, you can always play with this styles. So let's go ahead and click on generate. So let's have a look at our uh, results here. So we have a beautiful illustration, you know, whatever we have selected, right? We have a poster design, vibrant color and typography. You must select, you know, uh, this will help uh, understand the model that, you know, you want to use typography. And then we have this again. This is really good. Even this one is really great. Let's try some longer prompt this time. So this is another way we can write. So I'm writing earth with a protective seal around it. Text, save the planet. And here I'll go with a cinematic typography for sure sort and uh, maybe a poster design. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on generate. Uh, so based on the text, you know, you should always uh, select the aspect ratio. Otherwise text will overflow and you will not get the desired result. Okay, so we have the result here. Uh, let's have a look. This is really great. This one. I really like this one and even this one is nice. So let's try another one. Um, I'm using person holding a sign that says save the planet and over here i am going with typography and portrait let's have a look at the results so we have the text clearly here that's nice so after spending a lot of time with this tool i have finalized that you can write the prompts in four ways and those are uh, normal style you know where you will just provide the text value uh, with some keyword like ai for success neon and then you will uh, select styles like typography then you have a uh, different uh, style is uh, you will write text first then colon then text value with some descriptive keyword uh, something like that you know text colon ai for success neon sign then you have prompt style three where you can describe the scene or object then four is especially for person or subject if you have you know someone holding a pluck card or something like that you know you can use that in this case like you know uh, a robot holding a good morning card or something like that okay so let's see uh, how it works uh, in different way. So what I've done is uh, I'll share this uh, prompt with you guys. You can take this prompt directly and paste it in chat GPT-4. And once you do that, you can just provide the keyword, you know, as I have given here, like save the planet. And it was able to create uh, different prompts for me, which I've just shown you guys, right? I'll go with uh, spooky, cute ghost with some text, maybe boo, okay? So let's see what it creates. So it is creating a prompt for us. So we have boo, cute ghost. Then we have style. Then we have uh, prompt style, text boo, cute ghost. Then we have again uh, typography and illustration. And then third and fourth. So let me generate the images and I'll show you the outputs. Let's have a look at the results. So the first one was uh, boo, cute ghost. Uh, this is what we have got. And I've selected only the style which was suggested. But again, you know, if you want, you can always go ahead and uh, select different kind of style and uh, generate random images. And then this was another way writing text colon and then boo cute ghost. 
and if something is uh, not safe as a part of image you will get uh, this image you know cat holding may be not safe so that's fine uh, let's go to the third option a cute ghost floating with a text boo so we have this uh, this is really cute so you can go ahead and save this over here uh, if you want uh, okay and this is fine let's go ahead and have a look at the fourth one and the fourth one was cute ghost with a sign that says boo so this is also great and we are able to generate all four type of images with four different prompts so that's nice uh, so all the images which you generate uh, will be available as a part of your uh, profile section so let's have a look at uh, other details so you have recent tab trending following and top so you can go ahead and see whatever images people are creating you will be able to see over here and you can click on any image and you can see at the prompt what they have used so that's great then we have trending tab uh, where you'll find all the trending images over here so that's great let's go to following following is a place where uh, you'll find uh, the user's images uh, which you have been following so i'm following this uh, user right so whatever images she is creating i'm able to see over uh, there in the following tab okay then you have top section here you will find all the uh, top generated images with highest likes over here so you could see here this has like 165 likes this has around 93 likes and so on right so let's go ahead and see one more things over here uh, this is your profile section uh, where all the images which you have generated will be available over here liked is something that the images which you have liked will be available over here and following you will find the usernames which you have been following if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button and share with your friends and i just wanted to take a moment to thank you all of you who have subscribed to this channel i have recently reached 4k which is a huge number for me this was my first channel on youtube i had no idea how to make videos i just started because i wanted to share some information with you all thank you once again and i'll see you in the next video bye bye